animal kingdom okay so the very first question metagenesis metagenesis can be seen in which organism is it in adamsia hydra or physalia or meandrina yes kalpana deva very good evening can you answer me what is the answer for this question children yes is it adamsia or hydra or physalia or meandrina yes hi Yes, it is Faisalia, right? Okay. So, shall we go to the next question? Tarunika and uh, Kalpana Deva. Yes, comb jellies are dash and jellyfishes are dash respectively. So, they are belonging to the phylum. What is the possible question? So, you can answer me. Comb jellies are belonging to what and jellyfishes are dash. Yes, I am waiting for your answer, children. Yes, comb jellies are tenophores and jellyfishes are cnidarian. So, uh, jellyfishes are not echinoderms. Of course, they are cnidarians. Uh, they are belonging to sealant trata. Okay. So, that is option um, C. Very correct. Excellent answer. Okay. Let us proceed to the next question. Uh, mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm in dash. So, you can find the mesoderm in the form of pouches as such. Uh, is it in annelids or echinoderm or mollusk or askelmanthus? Yes. Any guess from Tarunika also? Any guess? Yes, it is Ascalmenthus. As such, uh, you know, they are pseudocylomates, so they have the pouches. Uh, in the form of a scattered one, the mesoderm. So, that is pseudocylomate. Ascalmenthus is the correct answer, children. Okay. Now, notochord and earthworm is dash and nerve cord is dash. Any guess from any of you? Yes, Tarnika. So, notochord in earthworm is actually absent, okay. So, as you know, they are invertebrate, they do not have the notochord. And nerve cord, if you see, you can find it ventrally. So, you can find the position is ventral, okay. So, it is absent and ventral, where do we find? We find in the second option is the correct answer, okay. Now, next question. So, we are going to match the column, yes, option 3, as you said. Um, yeah, Ulta, you have said very correct, excellent answer. Uh, now, let us see the match, uh, uh, children. So, you can uh, match the thing a vector of the disease, gregarious face, a living fossil, an economically important insect. So, these are the uh, options on one side. Other side options are given Bombex, Limulus, Locust, and Culex. So, you can uh, match the uh, column 1 and column 2 and find the answer, children. Yes. Uh, a vector of the disease, as you know, it is Culex. Okay. So, vector of the disease is Culex and gregarious pest is locust. A living fossil is limulus. Economically important insects is bombix, which is silkworm. So, what would be the answer? A is 4, B is 3 and C is 2 and A is uh, D is 1. 
So reverse. Of course, the answer is four. Option is four. Yes. Yes, Nikita. Nikita, very good evening. Happy to see your name. And it is four. Excellent answer by you. Very good. Hi, Nikita. Keep answering. Yes, it is very correct answer. Let us see the next one. Shall we? Yes. Which of the following structure helps in excretion and respiration in mollusk? So, both will be performed by mollusk, which is excretion and respiration. So, what is it? Okay, um, Kalpana has given her answer. Any option from uh, Nikita is feather like gills. Okay, so it is feather like gills which is helpful in excretion as well as respiration. So the clue word you could have taken respiration generally by gills. So that is the answer, children. Okay, shall we proceed to the next one, children? All of the following are echinoderm except what? So you can give your answer. What is not an echinoderm? What is not an echinoderm will be the question. Think all options are starting with C. All options are starting with C. Any guesses? Yes, it is. Shall I reveal the answer? Yes, it is. C hair, of course, uh, which is not an echinoderm. C lily, you know it is uh, antidon. C cucumber, cucumeria. C urchin, echinus. So, C hair is not the echinoderm, which is aplysia. Of course, it is a mollusk. Okay. Now let us see the next question, children. The water vascular system in phylum echinodermata helps in. So what is the purpose of water vascular system? Uh, let us celebrate for the answering. Yes, of course. Uh, please don't feel uh, bad that even if it is wrong, no issue. Uh, we are answering to learn. Okay. So better uh, answer, children. Water vascular system in phylum echinodermata helps in dash. Yes, Tarunika, locomotion, capture and transport of food is very correct answer. Excellent answer by Tarunika. Yes, Kalpana, very correct answer. Excellent answer by both of you. 100% it is correct answer, of course. Okay, now let us proceed to the next question. Can you match the animal of column 1 and their common names on the column 2? So, I will give the time for you. Think well and answer children. A4, okay, Limulus, as you know, very good, it is king crab and Ophura is a brittle star and Tinea is a tapeworm, uh, Meandrina is a brain coral, of course, and Dentalium is a tusk shell. So, A4, B5 and C is 2. So, the answer is 2. Uh, answer is 2, very correct answer by... Uh, Tarunika, yes, your guesses are correct. The answer lies in second option. Yes, very correct answer, Tarunika. Excellent answer by you. 100% correct. Yes. Okay. Now, next question. Canal system of Porifera 
is not connected with what? So canal system of porifera is performing certain function. What is not performed by the porifera? Is it food gathering or respiratory gas or removal of waste or locomotion? Is the question. Um, so you can answer me children. Even if it is wrong, no issue. Yes, it is. Uh, it is four. Very correct answer. Excellent answer. Locomotion is not performed by canal system. Okay, next question. Tube feet are the characteristic features of Yes, excellent answer, Kalpana. Very good. So, maybe due to the net, it is coming slowly. 100% you are correct. A4, B5, C2, D3 and E1 is the correct answer. Excellent answer by you. Okay. Now, next question. The tube feet are the characteristic structure of dash. Is it a characteristic feature of starfish or jellyfish or devilfish or cuttlefish? Yes, Tarunika gave her answer as yes, Kalpana, Nikita. Yes, option 1. Very good. So, starfish only is having the property of tube feet. Okay. Then next one is a characteristic feature of Asgaris. And it is also AAPMT, All India Preliminary Medical Test question of 2008. Um, so, presence of true coelom and uh, metamerism is a characteristic or absence of true coelom but presence of metamerism, presence of neither true coelom nor metamerism, presence of true coelom but absence of metamerism. So, what would be your answer children? Take your time, think well and answer. I am not going to reduce minus 1 for you. Yes, Tarunika answered. Anyone else would like to answer? Of course, you know, Asgaris is a, a pseudo silomate. So, they do not have true silom. Nor metamerism. Metamerism is a characteristic feature of annelid, arthropod, and cordate. So, these two are not the characteristic feature of. Uh, Asgaris lumbricoid is the correct answer. Okay, very good. Tarnika. And uh, next question is like assertion and reason. Yeah, Arini. Very good evening, Arini. Happy evening. Happy to see you. We just started. A warm welcome to Arini. Okay. Now we are uh, discussing this question. Annelids, arthropods and molars are protostomian stelomates. Reason. All the three phyla include members with bilateral symmetry and true coelom. So, protostomium means what? In the embryo, the blastopore opening forms mouth first, then which gradually leads to anus means they are called protostomians. Which is the characteristic feature of most of the invertebrate. Except echinoderm which is deuterostom. Where anus will form first followed by mouth. So what is your guess? Annelid, arthropod, mollusk or protostomial coelomate. All or three phyla include members with bilateral symmetry and true coelo. Tarunika guessed B. Yes, B is the correct answer. Uh, of course, both are correct statement. It is also forming mouth beginning. And all three are having bilateral symmetry and true coelomate. But it is not explaining why it is protostome. So, both are correct and it is not the correct explanation of assertion is the correct answer.
Yes, Arini Shri, very correct answer. Excellent answer by Arini Shri. Very good, 100% it is the correct answer. Now, next question. Echinoderms are the only radial symmetrical animals with true coelom. Echinoderms are secondarily adapted to radial symmetry. Uh, so, is the assertion and reason children? Radial symmetry, you know the meaning. At any angle, you can make equal of. Yes, Kalpana, very correct answer. Excellent answer by Kalpana for the previous question. Yes, it is uh, B option. Now, we are into the next question. Um, did you answer for this question, Kalpana? So, echinoderms are the only radially symmetrical. You may get doubt. No, cylindrate also there. But with the true silo is echinoderm only. Yes, that is a correct statement. And they are secondarily adapted. Yes, already you know. We have uh, cnidarians and uh, tenophores are there. So, secondarily adapted to radial symmetry only. This is also correct. So, both assertion and reason are correct. Uh, but it is not explaining why it is uh, radially symmetrical with the true silo. Okay. So, B is the correct answer as uh, Tarunika answered correctly. Uh, yes, let us see the next one. Yes, Arnishri. Chitinous exoskeleton is a characteristic feature of arthropod. Means what? Arthropod has chitin. Reason. It allows diffusion of water vapor from atmosphere to the body. So, diffusion happens in the form of water vapor uh, from the body to the atmosphere is possible. So, assertion and reason is given. You can give your answer. Uh, think well and answer from body the diffusion is happening or not. Yes, Tarunika answered C. Um, C. C is the correct answer, of course. Diffusion of water does not happen from the body of the animal to the uh, atmosphere. Yes, it is C. Children, think a little and answer, of course. It is the correct answer. Uh, C, excellent answer by Arini as well as Tarunika. Yes. Now, next question. Radial symmetry in animal helps in detecting food and danger as they can move their body at any angle. So, radial symmetry in animal helps in detecting food and danger. Reason. It enables the animal to respond to the stimuli from any direction. So, any direction of the response it can able to give. So, this is assertion and reason. Uh, what would be your answer, children? Yes, for the previous answer, it is C. Kalpana, very correct answer. Excellent answer by you. Yes, Arunika, uh, answered A. Yes, it is radial symmetry. Very correct answer. Because of the radial symmetry, it can respond to... Uh, stimuli at any direction is also correct statement and explains. So, A is the correct answer. Of course, it is explaining the assertion. Very correct children. Excellent answer by Tarunika. Yes, Arnishri. Very correct answer. Excellent answer by Arnishri. Now, next question. Pick the correct statement. So, we have to find out among the following which is correct. All feces have gills covered by an operculum. Does chondric thighs as operculum? Question rights. All reptiles have three chambered heart. Does crocodile has three chambered heart? Question rights. All cyclostome do not possess jaw and pad fins. 
they have a sucking apparatus only they do not have jaw all mammals are viviparous platypus is there question arise so find out which is the correct statement is the question uh, you can answer me now think well Yes, excellent answer, Kalpana. Yes, it is cyclostome. Do not possess jaw and fab fins. Is the correct answer? Yes, Tarunika, excellent answer by you. Uh, all cyclostome do not possess jaw and fab fins. Yes, Prana. Very good evening. Yes, C is the very correct answer. Excellent answer by you. Prana, my dear. And you are... Very correct answer. Excellent answer by Yuva. Yes, it is C. Excellent answer. Let us uh, pass on to the next question. Characteristics of the reptile. Their body is covered. Ah, yes. PK. I thought Prano, my soldier. Okay, warm well, welcome to PK. So, body is covered with dry and cornified skin. Scales over the body are epidermal. They do not have external ears. Marine animals with a cartilaginous endoskeleton. Body covered with placoid scales. Freshwater animal with a bony endoskeleton. Air bladder regulate by on sea. Okay. Uh, body covered with moist skin which is devoid of scale. The ear is represented by tympanum, alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tract, opening into the common cloaca. Okay, PK, thank you. Yes, come on children, you can answer me now. Yes, Tarunika answered. Yay, you are Arunishri, Kalpana. Um, Yes, PK. Yes, it is A. Very correct. Of course, cartilaginous, no. Uh, freshwater animals with bony endoskeleton, air bladder and all. Yes, A is very correct. Excellent answer, Yuva. Of course, it is covered with dry, cornified skin. Uh, you know, uh, reptiles, chameleon and all. Cornified skin, scales over the body. They do not have external ear. Yes, good evening. Very good evening. Yes, very correct answer. Excellent answer by Arini Shri. Now next question. So we have to match the column 1 and column 2 and choose the option showing the correctly matched pair. So, one side they have given Porifera, Nideria, Platyalminthus, Annelida. Other side Spongilla, Liver Fluke, Neris, Adamsia. So, you can match. Yes, it is. Uh, let us see. Porifera is Spongilla. Only. Yes, you are. And Tarunik all answered very correctly. Nideria, uh, Adamsia, of course. Uh, QS4. Platy Elminthus, Liver Flu, Carnalida, Neris. Excellent answer, children. It is B. Very correct. Good. Yes, Jeeva. Excellent answer, Jeeva. Very good evening. Happy evening. Happy to see your name. Okay, let us proceed to the next question now. So, we have to match the column with uh, uh, 1 and 2, of course, here also. And uh, so, you can see one side, Asgaris, Voucheria, Ankylostoma and Tapeworm. Other side, common names. Yes, Arini, very good evening and happy to see you. That is the very correct answer, excellent answer by Arini also. Yes. So, you can match now and identify this also, a match only.
Yes, happy evening. Kalpana answered C. Yes, let us see. Asgaris is a round worm. Voucheria is a filarial worm. Ankylostoma, hook worm. Tape worm is what? Flat worm. So, where the answer lies, of course, Asgaris is 2 and Voucheria 4 and Ankylostoma 1. Yes, C is very correct answer. Excellent answer by you all. Excellent. Yes, very good. Very good, 100%. You are all correct. It is C option. Excellent children. Okay. Next question. So, we have to find out the correct option for hemichordate. You know, belenoclasses and sacoclasses comes under hemichordate. So, what would be the correct option among these hemichordates? Yes, Arnishri and score more and you are, yes. Hemicordate, what about the circulatory system? You know they are aquatic marine animals. Of course, it is a excellent answer by Tarunika, score more and Arini, yes. Excellent answer by Arini and Tarunika. Uh, circulatory system is open. Yes, Kalpana, Niva, yes, Jiva, yes, everyone, it is A only, 100%, all are correct. And excretion by proboscis gland. So, the answer will be A. A is the answer. Now, next question, what is sea horse? Sea horse, is it a bird or a mammal or an amphibian or fish? What would be our answer? Tarunika answered uh, others. Yes. Anyone else? Jiva, Yuva, Kalpana, Arini, Shri, Arini, Pranav, PK, Nikita, CRs. Seahorse is a fish. No, the fish face will be like a horse. So, it is represented as sea horse. But it is a fish only. Yes, it is D actually. The answer is D. Very correct answer by Tarunika. Yes, it is D. Okay. Fine. Now, next one we are proceeding to the assertion and reason. Assertion says what? Bats and whales are classified as mammals. Reason. Bats and whales have four-chambered heart. So, first statement says that they are mammals. Second statement, they have four-chambered heart. So, you know both are correct. Whether the answer line A or B is the answer. Okay. So, just a guess you can do children. If not, I will tell you. Yes, it is B. Tarunika and Yuvaraj answered. Yes, very good. Excellent answer uh, by Jeeva and uh, Yuva and Tarunika. Yes, it is both assertion and reason are correct. If they are mentioned, they both are having mammary gland, then we can go with the A. But here it is not mentioned they have mammary gland. So, it is not the correct explanation. But both are correct statement. B is the very correct answer. Arunishri, excellent answer. Yes, score more. Very correct answer by you also. 100% correct. Now, let us see the next question. Duck-billed platypus is a connecting link between. Of course, uh, you know it is coming in mammals. But it is a connecting link between what and what. You know, this is the only mammals uh, that lay the eggs. The only mammal that lay the eggs. Yes, Tarunika gave an answer. 
It is reptile and mammal connecting link. Yes, A only Yuva and Jeeva Arini Shri. Excellent answer by you all. Very good. 100% correct Arini. Uh, yes, it is A. Reptiles and mammals as they lay the eggs. Okay. And they have mammary gland. So, they are connecting link between reptile and mammal. All of the following correctly characterize nematode that is Ascalmenthus except one. What is that one? Females are mostly longer than males. They are often parasitic. They have pseudocelome. They have both circular and longitudinal muscles. So what may be the exceptional point? Yes, Tarunika answered 4. Very correct. Uh, excellent answer by Tarunika and score more. And Parthasarthi, very good evening. Happy to see your name, Parthasarthi. Yes, 4 is very correct answer, Arni. Excellent answer. So, females are always longer and you know they have pointed tip. Males have curved end. They are parasitic mostly. Uh, they have pseudocelone, that also correct. But they do not have circular and longitudinal muscle which is the characteristic feature of annelids. Okay, now we have the uh, match again. So, one side we have gregarious pest, radial symmetry, adult and larva is bilateral, book lungs, bioluminescence. Yes, you are excellent answer by Yuva and Tarunika. Yes, it is B. Uh, B is very correct answer, children. As you know, gregarious pest, locust, grasshopper, adult radial symmetry, larva, bilateral, starfish, book lungs, scorpion, bioluminescence, tenophora. Is very correct answer. Excellent. Partha Saradi, Kalpana, Arini. Yes, very correct answer by you all. 100% correct. So, we are proceeding to the next question. Which one of the following belongs to the phylum Arthropoda? Belongs to the phylum Arthropoda. Yes, Tarunika answered D. Yes, you answered D. Uh, very correct. Dog fish, you know, Scoliodon, cartilaginous, devil fish. It's a mollusk, uh, jellyfish, uh, cylindrate. So, silver fish only. It's a insect that belongs to the phylum Arthropoda. It's a very correct answer. Excellent answer by Jeeva, Harini, Partha Saradi, yes, Kormor and Yuva, Tarunika, Harini, 100% correct answer. Okay, shall we proceed to the next question? Again, it is a match kind of question appeared in NEET 2019 also. We are going to match with their respective characteristic phyla. Phyla, Bambex and the Pleurobrachia. Tinea. Yes, Tarunika answered. Score more. Yuva, yes, excellent. Uh, yes, it is A, very correct. Partha Saradi and uh, Yuva and score more. Tarunika, Arini, uh, excellent answer. As you all know, Paila, Jiva, uh, Paila is having radula, a grasping organ, a teeth like structure in Molas. Bombix. As it is insect, the excretion is by malphigian tubule. Pleurobrachia, they have comb plates for locomotion. Tinea solium excretion through flame cells. So, options are coming in. Uh, A is very correct option, children. Okay, yes, Kalpana. Very correct answer, Jeeva and Kalpana. Okay, next question. 
the causative agent of kala azar the causative agent of kala azar uh, is what is it plasmodium vivax or leishmania donovani uh, trypanosoma gambits or ocheria bancrofti so what may be the causative agent So the causative agent of cholera is our children. Any of you? I'm waiting for your answer, children. Causative agent of cholera is our. of course it is a yes excellent answer by jeeva and yuva very correct answer uh, of course it is excellent answer by you all it is leishmania donovani which causes kala azar okay ungalku theriyo plasmodium vivax malaria trypanosoma gambit sleeping sickness waucheria bancrofti filaria next question Again, it is a match kind of question. So yes, Siva Prakash, Arini, Yuva, excellent answer by you all. Uh, very correct, hundred percent correct answer. Uh, so next one, we are going to discuss uh, match, and we have to select the answer with the scientific name and common name. Yes, yes, Shiva Prakash. Very good evening. Yes, it is D. Excellent answer by Tarunika Arini and score four. Yes, of course, it is correct answer. Aptinodites is nothing but penkuven. Petrophus is flying fox. Petrophyllum is angelfish. And petromyzon is lamb free. Very correct answer. Excellent children. Arini and others. Yes. Very correct answer. And Partha Sardi. Let us proceed to the next question. Protostomia are those animal in which the blastopore of the gastrula becomes. Yes, Jeeva and Arini. Very correct answer. Excellent answer by you. So now uh, the protostomia becomes what? Tarunika answered. Yes, Arnishri, excellent answer by you and score more. Yes, it is mouth protostomia of those animal blastopore will become mouth. In case of deuterostomia, it becomes uh, uh, anus only forms first. Okay. Now next question. So we have th three points with reference to the point. We have to consider which among the following will come. Organ system level of organization. Yes, Partha sir, the very correct answer. And bilateral symmetry through coelomate with the segmentation is a clue. So you can find segmentation in all these phyla. Which among the phyla comes under the criteria?
Yes, Tarunika, and uh, score more answered. Yes, uh, Arnishri answered. D is the correct answer. As you know, the clue word segmentation, Parthasarathi, Analida, Arthropoda, and Chordates are the uh, phyla with the segments. Okay, so you can find this. That is the correct answer. Excellent answer, Yuva and Jeeva. Arini, excellent answer by you all. Very correct answer, children. Okay, next one. A phylum with a true coelom is dash. Is it Porifera or Coelentrata or Arthropoda or Ascalmanthus? So, which one is having true coelom? The phylum with true coelom. Yes, Tarunika, Skormor, Yuva and Jeeva. Excellent answer by you all. It is Arthropoda because Porifera, Coelentrata, they do not have coelom and Ascalmanthus, you all know they are pseudocoelomate. So, Arthropoda is a phyla where we have coelomate. Excellent answer by Parthasarathi as well as Arunishri. Very correct answer, children. Now, next question. Which one of these animals is not a homeotherm? You know, they cannot maintain the Constant body temperature. Is it Macrobus? Is it Chelone? Is it Camellias or Cytoclum? Yes, Arni, very correct answer for the previous one. Not homeotherm. Is Cormore uh, said it is Chelone? Tarunika answered B. Yes, Eva answered B. Arni answered B. Excellent answer by you all. 100% very correct answer, children. Yes, it is not a homeotherm. As you know, it is belonging to reptile. So, poikilotherm it is. Now, next question. Bilaterally symmetrical and acelomate animals are exemplified by... They are bilateral and acelomate uh, animals are... Yes, Arni. Excellent answer, Arni. It is B. Platyalminthus. A. Silomate. Bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, yes, it is bilaterally symmetrical. Platyalminthus. Very correct answer. Excellent answer. It is B. Okay. Yes, Arni is correct. Uh, now, next question. Body having meshwork of cells, internal cavities, Lined with food filtering flagellated cells, an indirect development or the characteristics of the phylum. Yes, uh, Yuva and Najima, very correct answer. Excellent answer by you both. For the previous question, now this question, uh, Tarunika answered. And uh, yes, yeah, your previous question Arini answered. Now this question, flagellated cells, I hope you remember, it is chonocytes, food filtering cells. Yes, Parthas are the excellent answer. It is A, uh, Porifera, where you are having the chonocytes, is a characteristic feature. Shall we proceed to the next one, children? Yes. Which among the following is a wrong statement? Teeth in chondrichthys are modified tenoid scales. Air bladder in fishes regulates by on C. In amphibian, tympanum represents ear. Long bones in birds are pneumatic. Of course, yes, is very correct answer. Arunishri, excellent answer immediately, yes. Uh, it is chondrichthys. The teeth are modified into placoid scale, not tenoid scale. So, it is placoid scale. 
uh, yes kormor as well as varunika and najima uh, warm welcome to you for the class yes answered excellently very correct answer najima yes shall we proceed to the next question identify the vertebrate group of animal characterized by crop and gizzard in its digestive system it's a previous year neat question children which among these group has crop as well as gizzard yes eva and jeeva najima for the previous one it was a correct answer excellent answer children Yes, you are excellent answer. C is the correct answer. Yes, yes only will be having crop and gizzard. Of course, crop is for storing and gizzard is for grinding purpose. As you know, they have the muscular arrangement in such a manner to grind. Yes, Arini. Yes, Jiva and Najima, Tarunika, Partha Sarathi. Very correct answer. Excellent answer by you all. Hundred percent correct answer. Now, next question. Which of the following living organism? completely lack cell wall they do not have the cell wall is it blue green algae cyanobacteria or sea fan gorgonia or saccharomyces excellent answer arini yes it is c excellent answer score more and tarunika blue green algae uh, cyanobacteria have cell wall Saccharomyces yeast is having chitin cell wall. Sea fan is an animal, as you know, Gorgonia, sea lantrate, Tidophora. So it does not have a cell wall. Only membrane persists. Very correct answer. Excellent answer by you all again. Now next question: Which of the following statement regarding sea lantrate is or or wrong? Nidocytes are present on the tentacles and on the body. Yes, Parthas are the for the previous one that is correct. Diploblastic with cellular level organization, polyforms free living, exhibit metagenesis. <coughs> Poly produce Medusa sexually and Medusa form polyps asexually. So you have to find out which are wrong. Yes, Padma Arini, very good evening, Pa. Very good evening. A warm welcome uh, for the class. Yes, uh, which is the answer? Anybody? It is. Yes, it is. Uh, score more on Jeeva, Tarunika, Harini, and all answer D. Excellent answer, children. Yes, it is D. As you know, um, these are the two points which are correct. Of course, they exhibit metagenesis. They have tentacles. Other three are wrong points. Okay, uh, fine. Very good. Excellent answer, children. Now let us proceed to the next one. In case of porifera, the sponge of seal is lined with flagellated cells called what? Is it ascula or is it chanocytes or is it mesenchymal cells or ostea? Yes, it is B. Excellent. Charnocytes are the flagellated cells exclusively found in the uh, poriferent is the very correct answer. Now, next question. Which of the following options 
This correctly represents the characteristic features of phylum Annelida. So, which are the characteristic features representing the phylum Annelida? Yes, Najima, Yuva, Jiva. Excellent answer, Arini. And uh, yes, Arunika answered for this. Yes, it is triploplastic annelid. Segmented and bilaterally symmetrical is the characteristic feature. Excellent answer, Arunika and Yuva. Yes, Jiva. And score more. Yes, very correct answer. Excellent answer, children. Now, next question. In metagenesis, Nigerians like Obelia and Polyps. Uh, and Medusa respectively, what is the ploidy of this uh, obelia uh, during polyp and medusa stage is the question. Yes, uh, Parthasarthi, very correct answer, 100% it is correct for the previous one. For now, Yes, C is very correct answer. Excellent, Arini and uh, Tarunika. Yes, it is 2N, 2N. Only gametes are haploid. So, the obelia either in polyp or medusa form, it will be in 2N condition only. So, it is 2N. Uh, gamete is N. Okay, fine. Very good children. Jiva and uh, um, Arini score more. Yes, now we have to match the column 1 and 2 and choose the correct combination. So, incomplete digestive system, cellular level of organization, radial symmetry, pseudocelomate, metamerism. Yes, uh, Jiva answered and Anini answered excellently. It is C. Uh, very correct answer. Excellent answer by Anini and Jiva. As you know, incomplete digestive system, platyal minthus, as they are parasite, cellular level sponges, radial symmetry, cylindrate, pseudocelomate, ascalmenthus, metamerism, and elites. Now, which of the following represents the order of Haars? Yes, Parthas are the very correct answer. Parthas are the excellent answer by you. Which of the following represents the order of horse? Yes, excellent Arini. Yes, it is Equide. Uh, very correct answer. Equide is the correct answer. Excellent Arini. And Tarunika, yes, uh, score more, very correct answer. Now, next question. Functional system for specific physiological function are not seen. So, we do not have organ system, uh, level of organization among this uh, one of the uh, phyla, which is that. So, while you are answering, let me share a small story for time management. One day, a professor came to a class. He had a beaker. 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 
ஃபில் பண்ணுங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்றாரு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தண்ணி போடுறாங்க அப்புறம் சாயில் போடுறாங்க அப்புறம் பெபிள்ஸ் போடுறாங்க அப்புறம் ராக் போட இடம் இல்லாம போயிடுது மாத்தி மாத்தி ஒவ்வொரு ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸா பண்றாங்க கொஞ்சம் ஏதோ ஒண்ணு அங்க மிச்சமாகுது அப்போ மாஸ்டர் என்ன பண்றாருன்னா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ராக்க போடுறாரு உள்ளார ஸோ ராக் மீன்ஸ் நம்ம லைஃப்ல எது ரொம்ப டிஃபிகல்ட்டியான கண்டிஷனோ அதுக்கு நம்ம ப்ரையாரிட்டைஸ் பண்றோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் பெபிள்ஸ் அந்த ராக்குக்கு நடுவுல இருக்கக்கூடிய கேப்ல பெபிள்ஸ் போய் உட்காந்துரும் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து சாயில் அதுக்கப்புறமா தண்ணி ஊத்துறாரு ஸோ எவ்ரி திங் கேன் பி அக்காமடேட்டட் ஓகேயா ஸோ இப்ப இருக்கக்கூடிய டைம்ல நீங்க எதுக்கு ப்ரையாரிட்டைஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்றதுக்காக தான் இந்த ஒரு குட்டி ஸ்டோரி பேலன்சிங் யுவர் டைம் ஸோ நம்ம கிட்ட சிக்ஸ் ஹவர்ஸ் இருக்குன்னா இப்போ எந்த சாப்டர் படிக்கணும் அதை எப்படி மேனேஜ் பண்ணணும்னு நமக்கு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும் ஜஸ்ட் அ ஸ்மால் ஸ்டோரி ஃப்ரம் மை சைட் டு மோட்டிவேட் யூ ஆல் யூ ஹாவ் டைம் ஸோ டோன்ட் கிவ் அப் ப்ளீஸ் ஃபோக்கஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரிப்பேர் வெல் எஸ் ஆன்சர் இஸ் சீலன்ட்ரேட் வெரி கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் சில்ட்ரன் மெனி ஆஃப் யூ பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டட் இட் பூஸ்டட் மை எனர்ஜி இட் மோட்டிவேட்டட் மீ எ லாட் Thanks for all your participation, children. If you really like the story and the class, kindly give me your uh, like as well as comment. Thank you all, children. Thank you, Jeeva. Thank you, Tarnika. Thank you. Score more. Thank you, Arnie.